you know, architects read a lot about these beautiful new buildings, the Bank of America Tower. It's the second largest high rise in Manhattan. They're getting platinum red in the new buildings. And which means that um, you're not going to push that has just big budget and it would be. But um, I discovered it just by going through the process. I can't wait for it all, especially because really Lee provides many options. A lot is now available and fine course. And really, I think that's coming down for materials. Um, I also wanted to mention that uh, NYSERDA, which has an entity program, Energy Sort of Links, called Applying Tilda, so that can send funds to help pay for uh, features. Uh, NYSERDA is coming up with a new program, a residential rebuilding program, that will um, provide funding, incentive money for uh, lead certification buildings that have something. Uh, and it's for residential up to 12 units. So, and we all know that there are three things in many municipalities that have been coming and going to help us find it to incorporate these new buildings. The next slide. I just want to run through these empty towns. People here are familiar with this. Remember the Green Building Council, the uh, nation, uh, or national organization, and the local uh, New York State chapter. Uh, and I think we all know that, uh, uh, that the USGC created uh, the NEED rating system. And uh, one big fact that we have on time is that buildings, uh, and buildings do burn the reasonable energy, energy net and 60% of electricity. So uh, there is a real need to look at all these different ways of conserving energy and materials, and environmental, economic, health, and human methods. Next slide. Need for homes. Uh, I'm bringing this out there. It's not. I'm an accredited lead professional. Building needs a lead certification. There's a need uh, for new construction. Lead for homes, and we're going to get. Uh, they're going to get into the building. Uh, kind of first uh, uh, implementing the for homes certification. Process with our project with these students. We have a project that completed on uh, August year, and we are anticipating a goal. <coughs> and we're just a few points away from platform. Uh, next. I uh, just wanted to also mention that um, uh, Energy Star. It rated, um, our energy store rating is a uh, prerequisite of the building. And this is one of the other uh, uh, building components of our house. Um, it's called the Fort Townhouse. It's a two million townhouse in these places. And uh, these are some of the components that gave quite a few weak points. You know, uh, I studied the need for construction to be an accredited lead for the AP, but I found in need for homes, you have to make points for very fun, fundamental green uh, or sustainable features, such as uh, FSC certified wood. Um, and this is, uh, this is established in Germany, and they, uh, if you buy with it, that it's certified, it means that it's been uh, responsibly, uh, been, I mean, forests have been responsibly hard to pass that there is a system and it's other from the country. We have a working budget on the future of urban houses with green roofs. We have, um, and this project is close to the downtown Hastings, has lots of flat roofs, so it gives the opportunity to do the green roofs, which reduces the heat island impact and CO2 uh, emissions. Solar panels, we, again, I have the time and resources uh, because of this two-year project to do a lot of research. We looked at geothermal, we looked at different types of solar panels. We went with solar panels because of a limited area for geothermal, and it actually, uh, we had the different types of geothermal, and we we're actually anticipating that this could do 20 to 50 percent of the heating system. Uh, next week. Rainwater harvesting, a very affordable way to recycle the rainwater for um, irrigation instead of using bulk water. And permeable painting, this is a way of how that we use for a very easy with a black rock or this is called permature, where the graph actually grows up through it. And, and this is actually this is a concept drawing that we did initially of our project in Hazings, where we were examining different ways to do sustainable features. And it just shows that we have a great solid uh, south orientation. Um, so we have solar panels on the south facing roof, and solar panels on the south facing wall. Um, we had um, uh, west facing walls with great views of the river, but we um, had big overhangs to enhance the solar energy. We um, used uh, engineered panels that are um, uses FSC certified wood for the construction of those panels. We use FSC certified wood for the flooring. Um, we received um, lead points for water efficiency because of the uh, rain materials and also for uh, whole water um, uh, plumbing fixer and water exits. We used uh, polyisomerically pump efficient to seal the high water when we will up. Um, next, next. This is our uh, second project. Uh, this project is not too far from that It's in an area where it hasn't been damaged down then. And I don't say a challenge because um, we were able to take a very building B uh, and Convert it into a high performance greenhouse in an older neighborhood. This is our site plan, and we have a little building here that's a stone foundation. We, we use that foundation for the terraces. We 
sent all the recycling to a waste company. This is just going to land. This is going to be at the parking area. The whole panel the roof. And we have a cold tech stormwater units to stormwater and to reduce any erosion in the inside. These are just listed different views of these different methods. These are like content materials. And uh, for the decking, uh, next to the slide. Uh, for the fence materials. Wherever possible, I kept asking any supplier, including Green Bay Park, <laughs> what are the options? What options do we have for sheeting? What are the options do we have for flooring and top? So, and I went through all the different options, and many of them were too expensive, we just didn't use. Next slide. But in the end, we actually so have become the options that by completely really on and being away most of the item we're able to use the building. And this is a few months ago. We're going to have a, we're going to be finished here soon and we're going to have a house because we can also get the points on it. It's about for about 30 days. We're going to have a little bit of features and show you some of the green products in the house. And we're also having a youth workshop so we can teach young people 12 to 16 about sustainable design and take you through this project as an example. So um, I guess if you have any questions on it. And this is actually I'm also going to be using to teach, to show my clients that you can really do a lead project without, um, and I think in an affordable way. I, I don't think it's a low cost option, but I think it's possible to do it so that it, it's going to work for even small projects. Like, uh, what would you estimate the cost to do this project versus if you had the difference in the price? I think about 15%. Thank you. We're happy to have a good solar and other types of uh, insulation so that although the initial cost is slightly higher, the payback probably is around three years ahead of the Did you get rebates as well? Yes, actually, it's in addition to the incentive program, which really uh, helps to pay for the lead process. I, uh, there are tremendous credits for um, solar, $5,000 with the state credit, there's federal credit. There's uh, credit even for, they just came out, even for using high efficiency and or And uh, the lead process, during that process, the lead certifier helps you to defy all the credits and incentives that you can get. And uh, we haven't, uh, I haven't added that a lot. The question you asked me is something I feel I need to answer mm -hmm. because it's not time when people are, are going to do this because they think it's good for the environment. They want, they want to know what it's going to cost. And I'm going to get a lot of answers just from this building. We're going to start examining the cost of uh, the cooling system, the 23 SEER air conditioning, high efficiency. But I'm going to be looking at the bills. I'm going to get this information to help people make these decisions. Yeah, you have just said 